Hello everyone, this is Scott, and today I'll be giving an update on a uh, online protest that is going today, and that is called, uh, it's being known as Reset the Net. Reset the Net is a, uh, a very large movement right now that is a, basically it's telling you ways to prevent the NSA spying, and trying to give ways for you to protect yourself. Reset the Net is an online protest that has the backing of Mozilla, which is the company behind Firefox, and it's mostly a privacy-concerned uh, protest, saying that the government has no right to be spying on all of our internet and phone interactions, and therefore, we should be ha we should take the power in our own hands. Um, they have given us some recommended items. Chat Secure gives you secure chat with Google. Uh, Chat Secure is a uh, recommended product. It does secure your connections with Google and XMMP. And what this simply will do is it's just going to make it's going to make it a lot harder for someone to intercept your messaging, and therefore they wouldn't be able to see it. Text Secure is a uh, easy is a password protection for text messages, and Red Phone is a privacy for your phone calls. It's privacy protection. It's just all it is. It locks them down. Your passwords. Make sure that when you, whenever you can, you should be using a uh, two-factor authentication. This makes it harder for people to get into your account. Not only does it make it harder to get into your account, it also makes them more secure and almost a necessity in today's society. If you're using a Mac, uh, ADM is a uh, ba it's just a simple uh, chat program between Facebook, Google Plus, and more, and it just simply works by you know encrypt all the messages because as they're being sent through Facebook's encryption, the program picks them up and encrypts them and then downloads them to your local computer. Tor is a it is the Tor browser is quite interesting because what it's used for and what people uh, what it's used for it's just interesting. Okay, Tor is Tor. It, it's not a bad browser. It's definitely privacy because it encrypts everything as it connects to the Tor servers. But at the same time, you can if you find some it, the custom domain and dot onion has been known and riddled to be throughout the web of darkness as the deep web and pigeon is basically the encrypted chat program recommended for linux and windows uh... other things that i would personally recommend you doing uh, for your emails use in email programs such as uh, thunderbird or opera mail or some sort of localization that isn't connected directly to gmail servers um, you do not it, you do not have to do this, but if you aren't going to do it, at least have two-factor two authentication, and always contain a, uh, a ma maintain a secure connection to it. Uh, my browser is automatically set to load HTTPS whenever it can. If the site has an a uh, a SSL certificate, it's going to load it. That's the way it should be because what this does is all of my all of my information is now encrypted and scrambled as a gate here. Now, even though it may almost seem pointless to try and do this, the protest has gotten a lot of movement. And uh, what happens is at today, at, I don't remember what exact time it was, maybe it was 4, they're going to send out a mass message across all the connected accounts. So our Twitter account, our Facebook account, and our Tumblr account will all link to the reset the net page and the total reach of last night when well excuse me <laughs> so when I uh, checked it was a uh, 10 million is the total reach of then but it was in but it was increasing every time I refresh the page the total reach is essentially how many people will see it if you post it I had a couple thousand I believe because I have a lot of people on Facebook but the reach is quite large, and therefore you should. Uh, it, it, if you want to stand up for this, that would be the best thing to do. I was going to put the script on there for reset the net and the page. However, I don't want to put anything that's unnecessary on the page. But we do support the reset the net protest. It's got the backing of Mozilla and Fire Mozilla Firefox, Google, Microsoft. Facebook and the hacker uh, uh, hacktivism group which is anonymous thank you very much for watching please stay tuned for the video and if you can drop a like a comment and make sure that you check out the reset the net 
www.ghostbusters.org and let me know what you think.